Morning, viewers. <laughs> Is that how it goes? Hang on. Now off with today's news. It's going to be hot here in the Riverland. 39 this afternoon. And there's bushfire warnings for the district. <laughs> I don't know. Is that how the news people go about that? <laughs> That's how it works, isn't it? They have a teletexy thing now. Anyway, I'm just being a silly boy. We've got some cool honey orders that have come in. Thank you everybody that's buying our honey. And we're off to uh, our friends in America. We've got people from DC and Houston, Texas. That's a cool place. Houston. 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 Say that again. <laughs> no, Houston, Texas? Houston. Texas. 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 With a big hat. No wonder nobody can understand you. <laughs> oh, there you see. See, get picked on. So here we are in the high tech bottling, no, labelling department. This is this is another one. This is the labelling department. Oh, look at that. We haven't moved very far though. <laughs> oh, we did. I did actually order some proper Bush Bee Man honey labels, but some think went awry with that, so we're still stuck with the generic ones at the minute. And anyway, we'll get to it. I can never get these bloody things square or straight or whatever you meant to say. So. Let us know that they will put on your jar of honey with love, even if it is a crap job. Ah, this is why the wife normally does this. She's got a better eye than me. Look at that. See, it's still crooked. <laughs> even with all that effort. Damn it. We're a bit hands on, I think. Oh, fuck. <laughs> God. Is there a trick to doing this, do you reckon? Yeah, hey, that was nearly straight. Nah, not really. <laughs> This is why I really sucked at arts and craft. I remember at the art school, when I was doing art at high school, because it was one way to get out of some of the crap lessons. And I was supposed to be drawing these pictures and the poor art teacher couldn't believe that I couldn't draw. If you're watching this, I still can't do anything in a straight line. Look, I'm putting stickers on a pot and I can't even get it straight. Never mind drawing fancy crap. Oh, anyway, there you go. Right, so that's the labeling department done. We've got the would that be shipping department? <laughs> shipping department, labeling department. Now we've got to go to the bottling department, which is actually somewhere else other than the kitchen table, which is something cool. Yo, here we are in the high tech bottling department. We're getting a bit more high tech. I've got me different honeys lined up, so we're all good. We're gonna do some of this. This is our summer honey, pretty much. So this is what we're gonna get. I'm still arguing with, with my um, website designer as to whether we can have different ranges of honey. So if you would like different ranges, just send me a, I don't know, what would you do? How do you go onto the Facebook, on the Facebook page? But apparently a Bush Bee Man's got a Facebook page. So that's pretty groovy. Anyway, here we go, we've got the honey tap. We got our bucket with the honey in it. Hopefully it's not too cold here. It's, I've got some heating pads for later because we're heading into winter now. Even though you wouldn't know it because it's going to be 40 today, so it, still, it's cold at night. So here we are in the morning. We'll see if it flows out. It's a little bit thick. Oh, we're getting in trouble. I'm going to have to warm it up. But we'll be right. Anyway, if you get your honey and it's a little bit crystallised because it's just natural honey, you can just warm it up a little bit, put it in a little warm spot or put it in some warm water. Try not to zap it in the microwave because that's a bit freaked out. Bush bee honey. It doesn't get much more natural than this. Hasn't even been bastardised by the big commercial honey people. Us Westerners. It's a shame, isn't it? We just get something really cool like this. Natural, beautiful product. And what do we do? We screw it up and stick Fill it full of corn sugar and or corn syrup <laughs> and all sorts of other messed up crap just so someone can make some more money. I'm pretty sure the Vikings never did that shit, did they? They didn't put corn syrup in crap. Straight from the bee's bum to you. She's not their bum though, is it? It's their tummies. Oh, look at that. So here we are at administration. I guess it's, yeah, that would be that. This is the administration room where all the nuts and bolts are put together. We're on the Australia Post website. Oh, oh no. Cool, we're off to Yorkshire. That's pretty cool. That's a bit we run out of paper or something, stupid. It's not really going very efficient, am I? <laughs> it's a fairly long, drawn out process to send some honey around the world. Oh, we're finally in the shipping department. <laughs> God, what a 
Yes, yes. I'll just cut, cut some of this up. Oh, anyway, we're getting there. We nearly got the stuff packaged up. So, almost ready to go to the mailbox. Oh, come on. Ba -da -ba -da. Here we are in the high-tech boxing department. Oh, hey, I'm the, hey, I could actually be a jack of all trades, couldn't I? I think this is a, this is what you call an ultra small business. <laughs> God, isn't it? Oh man. But anyway, thank you very much for my, our supporters for ordering some honey and hopefully it arrives at your home happy and healthy and ends up on your nice grainy toast for breakfast. That'll be good. Oh, go on. Oh, come on, incorporate. Little beastie. We've got to do marbles. <laughs> involved, isn't it? Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Get in there, you little shithead. Oh, hey, come on. Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa. that would be pretty safe getting around the world in that box. You'd hope. Right, now we've got to put the address on, attached to the item. So we can put those two on there. Right? That'll work. We've got to put the barcode at the top. Apparently so. Hang on, I've got to sign this thing. Otherwise they'll think I've got a bomb in here or something. I like this, it's got here a sender thing, you've authorization, it says on here, you've got to sign this to say that it's not a bomb. I mean, if it was a bomb, you wouldn't friggin', you wouldn't tell them, would you? <laughs> anyway, one down, three to go, woohoo! Hell, tell you what, it's a long way from here, isn't it? America. Well, I was thinking to being successful. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's a fucking long way to America too. So, I guess we've finished in the packaging department. Or is this shipping department? I don't know. Is this the shipping department? I think that was packaging and shipping. So we've popped out the office with our paperwork and we've stuck it on your boxes. And now we're going to go down the post office. And before you know it, it's going to be on your toast. Oh, we live in this cool little, like our town is pretty much, um, I guess the heritage is the German heritage, which is the Lutherans, which is kind of groovy. And they make these wicked ass honey biscuits. And some of the ladies at the uh, um, church there, you go to a, like a, I don't know, a function or whatever. <laughs> and they make these cool honey biscuits. I've tried to make honey biscuits and I kind of suck in comparison. They're not bad though, but, so if you want to do something cool with honey, you can make some honey biscuits. You wouldn't believe it, would you? You wouldn't think the town is so busy you can't even get a car park. <laughs> That's kind of insane, isn't it? Here we are, downtown Loxton. It's all good. We got some to our local post office. <laughs> Honey's more travelled than me. <laughs> Wave goodbye to the honey. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. That's all right. See you later. Well, that was pretty painless. I mean, you can see we're not the most efficient at this. But anyway, if you want to get your hands on some of this Riverland honey, check out the website and order some. Get amongst it.